in, in problem number 27 of section 2.4, we look at uh, a random variable x that takes on values between 1 and 4. And we assume that, f, uh, or that x has the probability density function of the form f of x equals cx squared. And first we asked, what is c? Well, the idea with probability is that the probability of all the outcomes happening, or the entire probabil the probability of the entire sample is, must be 1. I mean, in other words, you know, at least the only out, it's 100% probability that one of the outcomes will happen, in other words. Uh, so we know that the probability um, of an outcome between 1 and 4 uh, is going to be the integral from 1 to 4 of f of x dx. Uh, so this must equal 1. And this is equal to the integral of 1 to 4, or from 1 to 4 of cx squared dx. Which if we uh, pull out the c and then evaluate this, this will be uh, one third uh, x cubed evaluated from one to four. So this is uh, c over three times, now we have four cubed, which is 64 minus uh, one cubed, or one. So we have 63c over three and that's equal to uh, 21c. So again, remember that 21c now must equal 1. So this means that c is 1 over 21. All right, so now for part b, um, we're asked what is the probability that x will take on a value between 2 and 3? Or equivalently, what's the probability of an outcome between 2 and 3? So in this case, we're interested in the integral from 2 to 3 um, of our probability density function, which is we now know to be 1 over 21 um, x, cute, or x squared. Which we saw that um, this integral is just equal to uh, c, which is 1 over 21, uh, times 1 third x cubed. And now we'll be looking from and evaluating this from 2 to 3. Now this is 1 over 63 times 3 cubed, which is 27 minus 2 cubed, or 8. And this becomes 19 over 63. So if x is a random va variable that um, you know, takes on values between 1 and 4, with this specific density function, the probability of getting an, out of an outcome that's between 2 and 3 is equal to 19 over 63, or approximately one-third. 